Time Parts Done By You, Lars, uh, on, the, on the new album. I think the peak is in Flesh Flower. I actually think classical music when I listen to that, especially in the beginning and in the end. Borknor is, at least the way I see it, considered, it is considered as extreme metal, or perhaps only metal these days. I don't, I, I don't really know. Hold on. It's extremely progressive metal. <laughs> it definitely. <laughs> it, it's definitely. Not extreme progressive, it's just extremely, extremely progressive. <laughs> Uh, a song such as the mentioned, uh, Flesh Flower, it could actually have been written in the 1700s. If, if you see, like, if, if some of them have written a metal song, they could write something like well, that. Well, uh, it's something about the structure of the song, I yeah. think, and, and uh, about the way that that, uh, that song is written. I mean, there's, there's a little piece of the Bach way of thinking melody in it. Um, and what's interesting about about that song is um, I wrote the basics of it and then Einstein uh, sat down with his guitar and he just worked with uh, what was his his perception of uh, the mm -hmm. basic structure that, that I made and that changed the whole idea that I had of the song uh, it just took it to another level it made it a different song it's, it, it's so interesting to see how that works mm -hmm. how all things come together I mean it's the same thing that happens when we work yeah, in mean, way, but it's uh, it's just we have that classical standpoint, and then uh, he comes and he brings some more darkness into uh, that sort of uh, start, musically speaking. Those is, I said that those points, from my point of view, is this magic moment. Same thing when I wrote songs and I sent them over to Lars, and he does some synth stuff, set it back, and I'm like. How the fuck did he do something? Like, I mean, he does things that what I do. Look? Yeah, whatever. Uh, well, it sounds you, a bit like the 70s, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah but, it but the point is that he does something with the songs I write that I would never ever do. Or uh, I would, I, I mean, it's I would never think like that somehow. And that's a beauty of this kind of cooperation we have in the band that, that we kind of do. I mean, same thing with vocals, when, when Andreas doing the vocals, yeah. I'm like, wow, how did you. How did you come up with that melody? You know, you know I, I, I didn't. That. I didn't really listen. That I mean, this melody. What is going on? <laughs> uh, and that's you know, that's magic. The beauty, whatever, of, of this cooperation. I think, and that's what you know makes this music. I would say spark sometimes because it's it's. Um, yeah, but it's true. I mean, uh, it it does have um, a sort of classical vibe to it, and and that's not uh, that's not accidental. I mean. Uh, when I, when I started writing the song, the first thing I wrote was the piano part that you hear in the beginning. Mm. Uh, but the thing is that um, um, that tone structure is the one that is used throughout the whole song. Uh, and I, 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 read some, I, I read some review somewhere where um, the reviewer said that um, I, I love that song, but uh, I don't know why they put that sort of catchy melody in the end. And I'm thinking, that catchy melody is there all the time. You just didn't, you, you just didn't recognize it until the end. <laughs> uh, Flesh Flower is actually the one song that I didn't like the first few times, mm -hmm. uh, because it doesn't fit. Well, it Either it's like, where did that come from? Uh, is it, shouldn't it be a bonus track or something on a, on a CD number two or something? But the more I listen to it, the more it it makes the album even more dynamic, and it does fit. The way the way that we always thought when it came to to the parts that that, that I write is, it's always good for an album to have some sort of break, some sort of mark where you think that okay, this is kind of different, um, to break that sort of flow that we talked about. Uh, and we've had that on on uh, the other albums as well. <coughs> I mean, every album I've I've done since Quintessence has had that song that I wrote that is slightly different, but still um, written in the Bochnagar vibe with the, the Bochnagar mindset. And I mean, the difference this time I think with Flesh Flower that makes it stand out a bit more is the fact that I usually write instrumentals. Oh. And this time around, it's uh, more of a classic song structure with uh, with vocals uh, as well, uh, and also usually the the instrumentals I do um, doesn't uh, they, they don't usually have a lot of guitars, but this one's pretty guitar driven. 
um, because of what Iceland uh, has done to it. So I think that's why uh, a lot of people, the first time they hear the album uh, and that song pops up, they go, hey, this is different. Mm -hmm. But if you hear it two, three, four times, you, you recognize um, the basic musical idea. I mean, it, it has the same platform, mm -hmm. musically speaking, as the other songs. It's written with the same mindset, so I'm glad you uh, you found it to fit in the end. <laughs> I would, uh, but it, I mean, yeah, I mean, also, I think it's very important to have an album uh, in terms of the songs, but also in an uh, album in general, as has some elements that sticks out, that breaks, you know, the continuity and stuff like that, mm. and just, you know, uh, makes you, what the fuck? I mean, the same with the songs. Uh, but also, you know, the whole album. So, so I think for us, it uh, has always been our approach. The same with the first album, we had, you know, every second song was instrumental stuff. The second album, we also did it with the instrumentals and everything. So, you know, it's, it's as again, it's, it's in, in, in the nature of the band. How would you describe Borknagar to someone who doesn't know metal music? That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> I try to make things easy. That's my job. <laughs> you have to do your job. <laughs> okay, that was the easiest solution. What is the harder solution? <laughs> no, I mean, um, we're still a heavy metal band, but uh, we're uh, a progressive metal band. We have our roots in extreme metal. I mean, uh, th there is some uh, black metal in the history of Bochnagar. Um, we have tiny bit of folk music uh, that lies somewhere within the, the belly of the Borknagar beast. Um, there's, uh, but there's a lot of progressive elements, so I think um, we're an adventurous band in many ways. I mean, we seek out to explore musical territories mm. for each album we do. Uh, so, adventurous, maybe. That's, that's the, the word I would yeah, use. Yeah, it's a good, good one, actually. I've been looking for, you know, when people ask me about it, but I, the best thing I've come up with is like extreme progressive metal or... Extremely know, uh, progressive metal. Yeah, no, extremely <laughs> progressive metal. And then we have, you know, extreme epic metal. It's also one solution. Um, yeah, whatever. More is an adventure. Yeah. No, the thing adventure is, metal. when... when <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that sounds like dragons and Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I don't want that. Nah. No knights in shining armor. <laughs> Nature metal. None of that. None of that in Okay. Thank you. All right. It's all good. <laughs>